All right, man, we here in Miami Gardens at Flat Top, man. Y'all know Flat Top, man. Used to be in the flea market, now here over here on 185th. We got Tracy Howard coming through here today, man. Tracy Howard, number one DB in the nation coming out of high school. Miami Hurricanes, Cleveland Browns, man. Tracy finna sit down and chill with us here at uh, Crib Talk, Cainville, Footballville, man. This is not what y'all think. I've been in my bag for a while now. I've been waiting patient now. I'm here and it's my time now. No way keep them cannons for them niggas tryna wild on. I just put some diamonds in a rollie so I shine them. Bitches they be chosen. Niggas be on sucker shit. I just put my new shorty. Well, that one motivation was perfect. I got one called motivation, but that's called motivation. I ain't even dropped that video yet. I dropped the song, but I dropped the video like I think I'm gonna drop the video today or tomorrow. But you got it already. You just yeah, ain't, got it already, you know? just ain't put it out yet. Mm -hmm. And that's motivational purpose. Motivational purpose. Yeah. yeah. What's the first song you ever recorded? I ever recorded? You ever recorded and it's finished? Yeah, what's the first one you ever put out with a video? Oh, that I put out? Yeah. Oh, uh, it's called um, Closed Book. Uh huh. It's called Closed Book. That's like the first song I really came out with. Yeah. Let's just wrap for me. Y'all have TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. It's probably gonna be some more You know what I'm saying? You can put music on LinkedIn if you, you like. You really can. Yeah. yeah. How how you view that? Like y'all have you look at opportunity or you look at it and just give people a chance to saturate the, the market. How do you look at that? Shit, I look at it as opportunity. I'm gonna always look at it from a positive standpoint. Right. I mean I mean it's, I don't really be too much worried about it. I feel like you worry about it saturated, that I means you worry about other people. Right. Like I don't really worry about other people. I don't care who's dropping when I drop, like my music, my music. Like right. it's gonna give you a different feeling. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got air in their own lane. Right. I don't know, I don't really be too much worrying about all that. Even like with football, like I feel like a lot of niggas do that. I be listening to these jits like, oh you got an offer in this like jit, stop worrying about them shorty. Like play ball, like you get an offer, like y'all be worrying about the wrong thing, like You, you ain't never worry about nobody. I ain't never worried about nobody. No. Ever in my life. Yeah. I always play and I work on my team and winning. Right. And this is no exaggeration. This is real life. I ain't never worried about no offers of this and that. And then again, I can't really. Then again, you know what I'm saying. I could say I, I had a good situation. I went to Miramar. We was winning. Yeah. You get what I'm saying. I ended up starting young. So it's kind of you know. I, I mean, you know, sometimes it's easy for you to say like it's easy for you to make it to say oh work hard. Yeah. But sometimes hey, nigga, in a good situation. Like yeah. I was born with, with talent. Yeah. And I, then I, I, that's something that I ain't get to myself. So it's hard for me to be like. Nigga don't got no talent. So it's hard for me to be like, boy, yeah, you need to work hard and you gonna make it. Like, yeah, it's easy for me to say. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why I don't be really trying to preach to too hard about certain stuff because it's like. Your boy was uh, an athlete? No, nah, my old boy ain't play no ball. No. No. Your mom was an athlete? No. Where the talent came from, Trace? <laughs> I don't know, boy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. And my old boy played ball like Optimus. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You don't know that? Uh, what, what made you the number one cornerback in the nation? Do you remember, like, when they. Like, what made you? Like, what. Because a lot of them have camps and you go to the camps and, like, how, how did that happen for you? Do you know at what point they realized that? Nah, I know, because, you know, I was number three at first. Uh-huh. And I ain't really know that in front of me. Like, I seen a play, but I ain't, you know, I, you know how that go. I always felt like, man, I'm better than yeah. I never voiced that out loud, you know what I'm saying? Because I never was that type of person. Like, I ain't never worried about other people, but like, I can say when it came to that, I'm number three. So I'm like, man, I could be, if I'm three, <laughs> I could be one. Yeah, right, that's right. what I'm shooting for. Street of Hill with Tracy Howard. Uh, right off the back, Tracy, man. We always ask people who their favorite rapper is. You know what I'm saying? So how you want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> how you want to do this? You going to give us a favorite rapper or my you going to say you, the, you your favorite rapper? What nah, nah, nah. My, my favorite rapper all time is Biggie. Biggie? All time, Biggie, but my favorite rapper G Herbo. G Herbo. Wait, what you like about G Herbo? Because you, you in the game, so we, usually when you in the game, you like people for a certain reason. You know what I'm saying? Like, like a particular reason. I mean, I like them because like, I don't know, I just feel like he authentic. Uh-huh. And he ain't really like he ain't really like most rappers. He don't get into social media. He don't get into it with people on the internet. He just keep it real. Yeah. And the stuff he talk about, I could kinda of relate to it. Yeah. So so most rap most most rappers what? About cloud and social media, star and stuff and all that? Most of them? Yeah. I mean a lot of them. Yeah. A lot of them, yeah, they just be you know how that goes. When you when you when you find out you can rap? Like when you always play with it or nah, I always rap. Since I was a shorty. Yeah? Writing oh, or just yeah. rapping in the bathroom? Both. Yeah? Freestyling mostly. Yeah. Freestyling, I always freestyling with the guys. Like I got me and Chad freestyling letting you on the table, all that. Like I they know it's Brum and the one for the freestyle. Yeah? Okay, okay. And who else? Who else used to be in that freestyle? Me, Chad, Ray Lewis, 
Ray Lewis, nice. He probably the hardest. The son. He probably the hardest freestyler y'all gonna hear. The son, right? Yeah, the son. Yeah, no, not, 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 not the, not the not preacher man. Not, yeah, the <laughs> not, not getting fired up, Ray Lewis. Yeah, the son. He the nice. son. The son be spitting. Yeah, he official. Um, Rico, Rico, Ryan Mays. He used to be freestyling all the time. Malcolm. Yeah. There's a lot of us, but Malcolm freestyle. Yeah, Malcolm nice. Malcolm nice. Chad, you you, you talk about Chad. We talk about Chad Thomas. Mm-hmm. Chad, how talented is Chad? But people don't understand. He probably the most like music like musician wise. Yeah, music wise, right? He probably the most talented person I've been around. Yeah. You know, I've been. I ain't. You know, I, I just started too, but <clears throat> it can't be too many people like him. Right. I mean, he's just like a genius with it. Like he know how to make the beat. Yeah. You know how to you do the song, but he 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 make it as he go. Right. We got a similar process, but he he know how to do everything. It's kind of like knowing how to play safety corner and nickel. Right. Right. So so break it down. So he could he could make the beat, then he, he could find the, the hook. Yeah, right. Yeah, he could yeah. find the hook. He can write the verses, nigga. He do all he do all that if you want nah, to. Nah, he don't write. Nah, he just arranges. Nobody don't really write no more. You just put the beat on, and just go in the stool. Yeah. And just catch a vibe to it. That's 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 cool. You said that because when Jay Z said that, how long ago this was? Ten years ago, everybody was like, "Man, Jay Z don't even write." Mm-hmm. And Wayne said it too. You know what I'm saying? And everybody was like, "Wayne, Jay Z don't even that's write." Now case. you saying y'all yeah. don't even? That's yeah. only because we really know how to freestyle. Right. Like you put on a beat, we not a freestyle for an hour straight and don't stop. So, so you have to have that talent. You don't gotta have that talent. Yeah. But, you gotta have patience. I mean, it all depends though. You gotta think most people can't really do that because they paying for studio time. And, you know, you go to study, you pay for three hours. Like you're not about to sit there and take a chance like that. I always listen. I I'm at the career recording all day. It's studio at the career, so I can take my time. I can say a bar right. and come back in an hour right. and think that like you know what I'm saying. So it's like I got more time to develop for real because I ain't in no rush. Right. And somebody who has to pay for studio time, they need to come in with that song ready to go. They gotta come ready. Right. Then again, like me personally, even when I do pay for studio time, I don't have nothing ready. I still go in there because I know what I'm going to do. I really know how to freestyle. Right. Like, for real. Yeah, everybody can't freestyle, though. Everybody, some like, people. Son, I freestyle. Like, Chuck, not a freestyle, for real. Yeah. Like, man, Chuck, not had a freestyle session in the career, going for an hour, that's all. Yeah. So, so, so that's how, so that's how you do it. You, you, you listen to the song, you vibe on it, you just go in there and do what you feel. And he's, he's just nah, that, that, you nah, in. That, that ain't really how I do. It. I mean, every process is different. Like when I hear the beat, I might, I might chill on the beat for like an hour, uh-huh. sometimes two hours, sometimes a day. Cause it's crazy. Then once you just, yeah. you know, once you find that certain, you gonna know. It's almost like listening to a song. You like, once you say a certain thing, or have a certain melody or rhythm. Yeah. Like, that's it. Like, oh yeah, that's it right there. Then I'm finna just build off that line. Right. And just go like that. Um. <clears throat> so so. You was ever in the studio with Chad when you was at Miami? Yeah, y'all used to go to the studio? Yeah, you know, he had a studio in, in, in the dorm. Right. Oh, he did? He had a studio yeah, in no the dorm. Yeah, no set it up, huh? Yeah, he used to always be telling him to come, but I used to, I ain't never really came. <laughs> Why do we go, dog? What you doing? Uh, you know, I, I, was, I was so focused on football, like... That's what your mom always used to tell me, I freestyle, man. I said, freestyle for fun, she, but it's football. She always used to be like, Tracy somewhere looking at his phone, looking at film, I bet you. She's mm-hmm. always telling me that. So you used to always be studying on playing football. Always. You, you... So you get to Miami, right? Mm-hmm. Um, why Miami? Everybody thought you was going to Florida. Like why? Why? I was gonna go to Florida. I, like, I was really going to Florida though, for real. But I went. I went to Miami because honestly, I mean, my old boy was sick. You get what I'm saying? Right. He was sick. So uh, that's another thing. I was like, I'm the oldest boy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I got a big family, but I mean, shit, it's really just us for real in the household. I mean, I got a big family, but it's still really just us. You get what I'm saying? Right. At the end of the day. So you leaving you so leaving can, Miami would have been you leaving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta yeah, leave my old say, boy. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Leave my mom. See that to take care of your old boy. Help your. I mean, boy. don't get me wrong. My old boy a grown man. You know what I'm right. saying? He hold his own, but at the same time, you just it was just he was better than. Sometimes he was better than he was. Sometimes he was good. Sometimes he was bad. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Because because he was sick, right? Yeah, he was sick. He was sick, right? I, I didn't realize he was sick that long. though. I, I didn't. You know what I'm saying? I didn't realize. No, nah, you would have never really knew because you know he gonna keep it together. He was right. a G. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. So so listen, your mom tell me this all the time. And then you're going to go with your mom. She always be like, listen, Dad, don't listen to nobody. Nobody knew where Tracy was going when we woke up that morning. So nobody knew where he was going. You know what I'm saying? She said, when we woke up that morning, we didn't know where he was going. True or false? No. You know what I'm saying? No. <laughs> she said, she she said, when, she said, when y'all woke up that morning, she said, we didn't know where he was going. I think I told her that morning. That what she said? Yeah, I think I told her that morning. I was going to go to Florida. I was going to go to Florida till that morning. Yeah. I was like, man, my dog going there. My was going there. She, you know, that's my main man. Right. I'm like, everybody from the crib going there, Duke going there. I'm like, boy, I'm not about to miss that train. <laughs> Who about to miss that train? You ain't never lied. But I was young, you get what I'm saying? And I was, I mean, then again, I probably would still do it again just for the simple fact that I love the crib, you get what I'm saying? Right. Like, I really love the crib. Like, 
if I had a chance to stay here and play, I was gonna do that. Like if I if if if, if, if everything was gonna go how it was gonna go. Like right. if Duke went her when everybody went, I'm like, boy, they were pulling you. <clears throat> of course. Yeah. Then Duke like, well, I'm gonna give you number three. And that's super love. Like, that's dope. You get what I'm saying? I like, remember that. I wasn't even better. I, I already knew in my head, like, I'm not worried about this. Y'all think about getting number three. You get for real. For, I mean, even though, like, I, I could have, oh, you get three, I get three because offense and defense, but. Right. You know, Duke a real legend, and I respect that. Right, so right. I'm probably right. going to get number one and eight or something. So, what was pulling you to Florida? T Rob. There it is. Y'all heard that, right? <laughs> there it is. T Rob. T Rob, he was recruiting you. T Rob, a little bit late, man. Yeah. A little bit too late. <laughs> Yeah, T Rob. I ain't gonna lie. If I could do it again, I probably would have went to Florida. Yeah, you could. If so you could do it again. Football could, wise. Football wise. I mean, you know, I, I done met some real genuine people at the U. Some yeah. relationship that I never would have had. So that's the only reason I say I won't. I go to the U again. But football time wise, I won't go to the U no more. You won't go to U? No. No. What kind of defense did y'all play at University of Miami? Sum it up for me. What was it? We ran like a. We ran a lot of stuff, you get what I'm saying? But we really basically ran a pressure defense. Where, like, we ran like a lot of cover nine, where it's like you send pressure and you kind of like, you playing nine behind it. So basically we bail to the field and you lock up to the boundary. Or we played like a lot of like, Kathy cover two. Yeah. We played, so, we played a lot of four a little bit. Like, it's kind of, it's like four and two. It's kind of, they could turn into four. Mm -hmm. It kind of, it's like quarters, like a catch quarters. Right. We ran a lot of man on third down. Like we ran a man on third down. We ran a press man on third with pressure. What 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 was your your game? Your game. I, most people come to South Florida, man. We man to man. We get in your face. That's how we play, right? I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I hear people say that, but like, even like, I was never really a man to man being your face type. Of no, I, I played off most of the time in high school. Really? I press, of course. I press too. Right. I mixed it up. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you, like, I be pressing. I back up by the time you say hi. Or I press by the time you say hi. I know because I got film. I be on moving. You. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got a lot of game when I just put the camera on. You. I just call it Dolo Cam. I'm sure you don't watch it before. Yeah, I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like and it. I'm just, and I'm just, you got some of the best film with me though. Right, because that's when I started. I fell out of football. It was called Dolo Cam, and I started mm -hmm. with Duke, and I would just put the camera on the star player. Yeah. Because we always see their highlights, but we never get to see see them for real. Yeah, what they really do. And then sometimes I put the camera on Stacey Coley. He fussing with people on the sideline. Mm -hmm. Put the camera, you know what I'm saying? So I started just going around. And I yeah. caught you and Patrick Peace's little brother that one-on-one -on -one that yeah. time. Damn I caught dirty. that. And he didn't even catch the... Yeah, man. Damn, Why did he man caught a pass, man? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man. I don't, I, don't think he, I don't think he even caught a pass. No, um, then I caught you at State. Y'all won that State Championship. Mm -hmm. uh, I caught you at State. But I, but that was my that that was my, my idea. But mm -hmm. I realized that it, it seemed like a good idea because Duke was so good. Yeah, dude, so good. So he would break so much that it seemed like a good idea. But when I would put it on, I put it on North Road that was going to Florida State, and man, it was like people was like, "Oh man, you get this man a Red Bull, man." It was like, man, yeah. yeah so, so it, so it, it was a good idea because it was Duke made it exciting to watch. So if you're a mm -hmm. colorful player, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying. But now we can look back and see you get Patrick. Wait, he went up going to LSU, right? Who? That wide receiver, Patrick Peterson, little brother. Nah, did he go to LSU? I think he what did. What brother went? I think he did. LSU? I think he did. Then he went to Cincinnati? Yeah. Really? Cincinnati too. Yeah, um, but he never really went to the league or nothing like that, right? I don't think so. Nah. Was he good? Like, like did he? Yeah, yeah, he was good. You know, like, he was he was definitely good. He was big. He was fast. Avery Johnson. Avery Johnson. Johnson. Yeah, that's yeah. not Avery Johnson. He was big. He was fast. He probably just wasn't as polished as he should have been. But you he say was, big, he, he was about how tall, about 6'2"? About 6'2", and he was lean. He was like, he reminded me of Sticks. I don't think he caught a pass. He built like that game. No, nah, he ain't kept that pass against me. <laughs> You can't count them games, though. <laughs> you can't count them games. No. Who, who else? Who else you played at? Who else you went up against in high school? Uh, I went up against, like, gangsters. You went against Joshua Reese, too, right? Yeah, I played against Reese. Reese? I played against Reese, yeah. I played against Reese. Any gangsters? Who, who, name some other games you went up against. I played against everybody. I played against every gangster. Yeah? As far as in the game, either I played them in the game or I played them in the 707. Yeah. And matched up with them. Who you played 707 for? South Florida Express? South Florida Express. South Florida Express, right. So, so who was the best wide receiver you played against in high school? Well, he was like, damn, boy, he, he gave me a go. The best one I played against in high school? Yeah. Probably Coop. Coop from where? From the West. Oh, all right, Cooper? Yeah, it was probably cool because for the simple fact that, like, before I met him, I heard a lot of niggas talking about it. Tommy was good, too, Shoot. Tommy Shula? Shula was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I, used to, like, I used to really train with him all the time, one on one in the off season in high school, so, like, I really, like, really got to know him. Right. But, like, Coop was like, Coop came and played for South Florida Express. But I, you know, Coop was kind of like, you know, we all came up from Optimus and we all kind of knew each other. I never knew who Coop was. I guess he's from down south. He was kind of, yeah. yeah he was kind of so under the radar, right? 
So right. I go, nigga, they cool play for the West. Already, I ain't never heard of them. So I'm like, I ain't never hear you. You ain't right. play for the city, the town, oh, Miami Garden, nobody. Right, you, right. You, know? <laughs> right. you got to prove yourself. So I just hear them talking, ooh, but the way they talking about it, they got to be somebody. But they talking to me, though. You right. know what I'm saying? So I'm like, man, I don't know who y'all talking about. <laughs> So I, so I, um, he can't stop for the spread two so we go one on one. So I go with him the first round, like this nigga they talking about us. I go get the second round, like yeah, boy, Whew, he for real. Yeah. He for real, like damn, okay, yeah, he ain't gonna be how all the other niggas. He was different, like y'all, automatically he was different. He was different. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, automatically. When they would play New Orleans, they would they would put Duke on him. Yeah, they. they, they yeah, would... I came out there and watched them. When they <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They would put Duke on him when they played against. You Northern. can't put on anybody on him. Nah, nah, nah. Coop, Coop was smooth. He had Teddy. Not in high school. Who's quarterback was? It was Teddy? Nah, it was EJ. It was, it was EJ? He probably had Teddy for like a year. Uh huh. But it was EJ. Um. Uh, so 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 okay so so back to you. So so at UM y'all played. You you described the defense y'all played. Do you think the defense suited you? Like were you comfortable in it? Nah. <laughs> no. Nah, I wouldn't even fly. Nah, I wasn't. I mean, I mean, do I think the defense fit me? I think it fitted me if they would let me do what I do. Explain. Explain to the people. Make make me believe that we ain't football here. We don't know what you're talking about. What you mean? Let you do what All you right, do. Because the regular look, look. person gonna think you saying just go out there. Let me do what I do. Explain Not like it that. To I don't mean let me freelance and do what I do. Like, right. like this is what I mean, right? Like I don't know. Like I'm older now. You get what I'm saying? So I can look back on the night in a mature mindset. You get what I'm saying? Right. Like don't get me wrong. I know every coach has got their system and how they want things to be played and this and that and and they right for that. You get what I'm saying? But like like let me see how to say it. I don't even want to make it sound Man, crazy. Say it however you want to say it. <laughs> say it however you want to say it. The way they were coaching is fine. They probably work for some people. You get what I'm saying? But, like, you got different type of players. You get what I'm saying? Like, basically, like, what I'm saying, they really trying to teach us all to do the same thing. Like, I'm the type of player, like, you don't really got to do that with me. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm finna be super smart. I'm always going to know the game in and out. Like, I'm really finna know the game. Right. My coaches knew that. They know you can ask them that. I'm, I'm definitely one of the smartest players they ever played, had played for. They know that. that. They know that. You know what I'm saying? Right. But it's like they try to really control everything I did. Like, all right, practice play. I want you to step with your left feet. Like, no, coach, just tell me. Just, I got man. I got him. That's all you got to tell me. Right. That's all you got to tell me is I got him. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. So, so, so you, it was too much control, you saying? You saying you could have did what he told you to do. I did the same and thing. at the same time. I did the same thing every play. Right. Right. Bell. Right. Bell. Hype bail, hype bail, hype bail. Like, bro, what am I finna do with that? So you, you got a pick six against Florida, right? You didn't bail that play, did you? And bail, we was in, we was in Cathy, we was in like a couple. So y'all was in something different that play. We was in and something you, different. And what happened? Could you re- can you remember? It's yeah, I remember. What happened? We, we was in like um, we was in like it's, it's quarters, but it's like a catch quarters. It's like it's like a cover two, but it's not a true cover two. Okay. It's like a Cathy, so if like one or two go vertical, you got to take one. Right. So the, the safety and the corner on the screen. Uh huh. So it's like. <clears throat> It's cover two for real, right. but if if, if 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 two run out, you trap it and the safety go to one. Right, it's right, like right. a read, like safety read and two. Right, both of us read and two. We read and two. If two come out, I take them. If two go vertical, the safety take them. I take one. Gotcha. Like, so if they run like a, a vertical and they run a dig, I really drive on a dig. Right, like it's kind of like so that. that and so read and two. So in that moment, that's what happened. If two go vertical, yeah, that what right. happened. So two came out. I, honestly, they ran the wrong route. Florida ran the wrong. They had to run the wrong route. Yeah. Like, you know, I just capitalized off a mistake. Right. Like So the defense put you in a position to do that. The defense put me in a position to do that, for sure. Yeah, because for in sure. everybody else's mind, everybody else's mind, it was like Tracy did what he wanted to do on that play and it worked. The defense the defense did put you in a position to do that. I'm never finna be out there freelancing. Right. I'm gonna always play within the defense. I ain't stupid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm gonna use my help and I'm gonna play within the defense every time. Like you never gonna have to worry about oh, Tracy doing his own thing. Only, only way I probably do my own thing if I really say something on film and I know it's coming. Right. Like I'm finna take a chance. It ain't if I if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Only thing different is in high school is like <clears throat> they gave me so much leeway, and I was able to be so much good because like I knew the game so much that I was on the screen with my safety. Uh huh. So if I seen something, I'm about to tell my safety. And, and my boy, I'm gone. And he got me. Like I can't mess up. I'm gonna right. mess up. Right. I can't mess up. <laughs> you know right, right, right. So that's just communication. Yeah, because I mean, I'm finna tell, hey boy, I'm finna jump this boy go. But we had signal though. Like if I go like that, he know I'm gone. Like, it's, I'm all out. Like, I probably ain't about to even move. Right. You know what I'm saying? So when you got to college, it changed. Yeah, I got to college. All right. So I tell you, for instance, like this is this is different between high school and college, which I don't make no excuses. You know what I'm saying? And there's a lot of things that I could have prevented that been better. Like I used to get into it with them all the time, just for the simple fact that I was so frustrated. You get what I'm saying? Just get into it with who? The Nafrio? Yeah. The Nafrio Golden, all that. P. Willie, the yeah. officer coaches. I used to get into it with everybody. And they ain't even really my character like that. But it's like I was so frustrated because. What you frustrated about? I was just frustrated because they weren't letting me loose. Like, they weren't letting me. I couldn't even really talk. I, you know, I, they don't even let me play Dade County football for real. I talk crazy to a nigga. I'll put, put you out of the game. Like, bro. 
For talking? I clap at a nigga for eight days. All right, man. All right, bro. They just want me to be quiet and play football, which is, I understand, but that ain't how that go. No, I, I don't I don't mm. understand that. And, 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 Why is he emotional? And, for the, I ain't going to lie. For the record, I ain't going to bash them like I didn't learn that. I learned a lot of you. Yeah. Like, I learned from Denafio. I could truly say I learned from him and Golden. Yeah. I mean, I ain't learned. I mean, honestly, did I learn a lot? No, I ain't learned a lot. But I learned I learned significant stuff that I took to the league with me that actually helped me make a team. Right, right, right. You know, I just, can say that. Like, yeah. I can say that they helped me make a team. Right. For sure. So you just, you, but you just felt that you, you, you said you were frustrated, frustrated the whole time. Was that the first time in football you was ever frustrated? Yeah, in college, yeah, that's the first time. That was the first time? Because, you know, when I got to college, it was a business. Like, then again, I wasn't used to the business of the thing. Most I was of used to his yeah. family, like, you most know what I'm saying? Most people aren't. We don't prepare y'all for that. And that's why, I, that's why I had these conversations, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's not even really about you. Yeah. It's about kids who finna walk in the same thing you walked into. Mm-hmm. That's why I need you to just talk, be free. What's up, bro? Talk freely. So um, that's Dallas, man. He number one. He was in the nation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want you to talk free because they need to hear. You know what I'm saying? They need yeah. to hear. Yeah. So, so... So that's the first time you frustrated because now you realize it's a business. This coach here, he trying to keep his job. He playing somebody who probably gave money to the program. You know what I'm saying? See, you got all this going that, that on. Part, I don't like that. I don't get into all that. I right. don't know. But like, cause another thing too, like I'm older now. I don't really trip right. on politics. Cause politics don't work on my favor too before. Yeah. And they work out of my favor, so I can't really be the one to be like, oh, probably like even with the league, like I don't trip about nothing. Like I take it, I take it, I take it, but. That's I could tell you about you one though. Like, about you one, I could keep it a hundred. Yeah, like politics, it's good politics. Nah, I've been on look the, at it. Yeah, I've been on a bad end and good end, so I can't. Like, oh, they playing politics again? Nah, I never said. Even at you one, like was it politics at you one? Of course it was politics. I was number one coach in the country, so I been mean, shit worked in my favor at first. Right. You get what I'm saying? But then again, you know, you know how I go. Honestly, you know, <clears throat> I was the type of player that gonna voice my opinion. You know what I'm saying? If I see something that probably won't work, I'm finna say something. You know, the coach they don't like that. Shit. So they don't. They don't like no player that's about to do that. But I, I never overstepped though. I just right. always spoke my mind. Right. You know what I'm saying. So let's go back to, to immature Tracy. Okay. <clears throat> now mature. We we talking to immature Tracy, right? You see something that you think ain't gonna work. You just put coach to the side and pray, or you be like, coach, man, it ain't gonna. You just say it to him. No, I no, I say it to him as a teammate. Right. Look, when I was at Miramar and me and Cardell, we were damn near teammates. Like yeah. he was my coach, but we were teammates. Like. Carter ain't look at it from a coach standpoint. Carter looked at it, what y'all see out there, what y'all want to run. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So that's what I was used to. I was used to, I used to communicate with my coach like, right. hey, hey, coach, um, them boys running verticals. So like, yeah. I don't even think we should be in such and such. Like, we should, we should put Junior at corner. I'm gonna go to inside because well, they put they, they, input. they put their gangster <laughs> in the inside. Right, right. Carter, trust me, he know who he talking to. Right. And I ain't even saying that from no arrogant, cocky standpoint. It's just that I put like I, I put my heart in that. Like you can, you bro, know. Look, I ain't was doing what I was doing. Right. Like. Any player on my UM team, it, you can ask them who they gonna bring me up. Like I, when it comes to film study and like really loving the game and being there, ooh, like you ask Jamal, I, I, I tell him what's gonna happen every play. Jamal who? Like Carter, all them boys, Dion, I tell him what's about to happen every play. But but Denafio and Al Golden saw this that you was a student to the game too. They had to see it, right? They know that. They had to understand it, right? So you, what you think got in the way? They ain't really getting in the way. That's how that, that's how they play football. Yeah. Like that's how they grew up playing football. Like it's more structural football. It ain't more like. Like, see, we play football like kind of like on the go, like switch on the go type. Yeah. They don't really switch on the go. They just going, I don't know that. Let me see how they say it. They just stick to their system. Their system. They stick to their system. That's what it is. And it ain't nothing wrong with sticking to the system. I never had a problem with their system. Right. A lot of people, I heard a lot of people arguing like, oh, the system is the system that. I done backed the Nafrio up in the media and got bashed for it before. Oh. Like right. everybody bashing the Nafrio. And I come in like, y'all tripping. Like, y'all talking about the Nafrio, but who do who? Yeah. Because I'm really here every day. Yeah. It ain't really the system, it's how we plan it. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Let's talk, Tracy. Explain that. That's just like how the system. It's like a nigga rapping. Right. It ain't what he rapping about. It's how he's saying it. It's how you deliver it. It ain't really what you rapping about all the time. But the way you playing it is the way they want you to play it, though, right? Yeah, the way I'm playing it is how they want me. Yeah, of course. I mean, I got to play it how they want me to play it. So you're saying the same system could work in somebody else's hands if he allowed y'all to play it. Of course. Oh, so that's what what you're saying? Okay. They ain't even let me disguise. Like, if I was ever trying to disguise on my own, just, just, just bail. We bear every play. You don't think the people know what we about to do? <laughs> Wait a minute, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the stuff. But then again, it's like, then again, I could say that when I was at the U, I ain't have enough players that was on the same type of time I was on. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> like, when I was at Miramar, like, all the DBs was on the same page. Yeah. Like, we all was disguising. Right. Like, them niggas going to do whatever I did. You oh, get what I'm saying? Right. But at the U, you know what I'm saying? You know, you got a lot of gangsters, and you got a lot of people, like, got, got their own way of how they play football. Like for instance, like Dion, Dion ain't, ain't really no film person like that. 
No. I watch a lot of film. Dion don't really believe in film like that. I won't say he don't believe in it, but he don't believe in it how I believe in it. Right. But it's my main man. So, like, yeah. you know, we talk on the record, even to this day. Like, he ain't really know. He ain't know. He ain't, Dion, I better sit there and watch film for four hours a night. Dion better watch that for like 30 minutes and be like, man, I'm going to just ball. So, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that. So, he don't, so he, he don't need to know. He, he, he just go off the talent. Like, I'm just going to get out here and get it. He, he I know enough. He go off talent, he go off keys. Right. You can't just go. Nobody no good enough to just go out there and just. Be playing like not once you get to a certain level. Right. Like each level you get to, you gonna have to be a little bit smarter. Why did you watch so much film? Man, honestly, I watch so much film because um, you know at Miramar they used to have like the film plan. Uh huh. Like in um, what's up, baby? They used to have the film plan in the, in the, um in the um in the weight room like every day after school. Uh huh. Like, so we so before we played sent they they used to do this all year though. Right. But you know I'm young. I ain't watch no film. I, just, I used to watch it playing. But I never used to really pay attention to it. Like, some niggas used to be sitting down watching it. Right. I used to go in there, lift weight, look at it a little bit. Like, it's just playing. Like, imagine, like, something just playing all day. Right. Big on the screen. So, I used to walk by it all the time. When we play, I to, I, every time I walk by, I seen the same play. And it, it just happened. And, like, and, like, and, like, and like, every time I walk by, I just seen the same play since you kept running. I wasn't trying to see it, though. But every time I look at it, I just see the same play. I leave, go foul, see the same play. Next day I come, see the same play. Next day I come, I keep seeing the same play. <laughs> <laughs> and I kid you not, in the game, they say, hi. In I the seen the same play developer. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> but Cogdell did it on purpose. I, I mean, yeah, it had to be done on purpose. Yeah, Cogdell, he ain't really, he ain't really, yeah, he just was just playing. He was just playing it. Cogdell ain't playing for that to happen. You don't think so? Hell no, nah, yeah, Cogdell can't know that's been happening. Cogdell, you got to be sitting down there for that. that I got lucky, like yeah. you know what I'm saying. That was God, like, like the same play just kept popping up. The film was playing in the weight room. The film was playing. That's like if you, first that, time I heard like you got ESPN on. Yeah, and I just like every time I walk by, I just see the same play with Brady. It goes to different plays, but like I just happen to catch the same play. He put it up there for a reason. I don't know why he put it out there, but I know I picked it, that shit. But it worked. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, right. And ever since then, I'm like, yeah, boy, I'm film. It's film for me. Yeah, oh, you man, that's, that's 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 a cool story for you to... Because I was just about to ask you, like, why like like why do you watch so much film? Like, what do you think you have an edge? But that's a cool story. Yeah, because a lot of people true. don't see that because they don't know how to watch film. Yeah, they don't know how. Yeah, they don't know how to break it down, third down, what's important. People don't really know how to watch film. That's why they don't... If you, if you watch film, like... Film, they like, better make the game easy. Like, if you ask all the DBs that I play with at UM, like I probably say I used to call out like sixty five percent of the game. Boy, they running slants. Yeah. But see, the thing at UM, like the thing at UM was so different. Like I could know they running slants and I still can't do nothing. Right. Because of the defense we was in. Because if you did it, if you did anything different, you gonna put it. If I jump that slant and they don't throw that slant, I'm out of there. Who you gonna put in the game? You remember? No, we gonna put in the game. <laughs> you but remember? you know one thing? Like, we had a lot of gangsters though. Yeah. That one thing I could say though. Uh, like at corner position, we were stacked. You get what I'm saying? Who and I know you were there with Artie? Me, Artie, Corn, Gunt, Antonio Crawford. Oh, you were there with some gangsters. Yeah, you were there with Corn and Corn too? Yeah, Corn, yeah, we had some gangsters. We had some gangsters. You was there, dude, with, with the crazy game? Yeah, I was there. Yeah. You, was, you was there doing the game? Mm -hmm. Let's be real, though. You thought y'all had no loss? Yeah, I thought it was over with, for sure. Where you was at? Duke always cheated, though. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Duke always cheated. Even our freshman year, they tried to cheat us. Right. So, so, so at Duke, so when they kicked the ball off, <clears throat> you was in the game or you was on the sideline? I was on the sideline. On the sideline. Side sideline. Get packing up, get ready. I'm go. on the sideline with the bad face. Like, like they got, they, they, they got a face with me like this. <laughs> then they got a face with me like, ah, <laughs> like, like, damn. Like, they put them like side to side, like, on some funny stuff. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. and so, so <laughs> you thought it was over. I thought it was yeah, over. You saw, you saw the player. I mean, you saw nah, the player once I seen Corn got that ball and saying, I know we could win because I know how Corn is. Yeah. Like, he, 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 he probably. The most special, like one of the most special players I played with, him and Duke. Uh huh. But he a defensive player, but right. he like Duke. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. 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 yeah he he's still in the league, huh? Yeah, he's still in the league. He he just signed with um. He just signed a deal with somebody. So Corn, cool, cool was like that, huh? He was good at basketball too, coming in. <clears throat> yeah, he probably was better at basketball. That's the crazy part. Yeah, he was good at basketball coming in too. He just tough though. That what it is. He tough. Yeah. So 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 when the play happens and they get that, you thought they were gonna take the game? You thought they were gonna call it back? Like the the the, the Duke play. Do I, I think they were gonna call it back? Yeah, I knew they weren't calling it back. <clears throat> yeah, <clears throat> too epic. He he, he he they supposed to call it back. Yeah, Ma and he was on the ground <laughs> for sure. <laughs> like hundred percent was on the ground. But it was like that play was so big that they knew that they had to keep that because it was gonna it, it was gonna help the it bring college it, it just bring college alive. Like it's right. crazy play happening. Like, you know what I mean? They they they'll play that play. <clears throat> they are gonna play that play forever. Exactly. You say who knew was on the ground, Ma? Yeah, he was on the ground. <laughs> yeah, for sure. How was it in the locker room, bro? Uh, it was crazy. Because the game was crazy from the beginning, right? Because I think the quarterback, wasn't the quarterback like um, 
Something happened that game. I think all your mom had died or something like Audie that, right? Okay. right. Yeah, Audie got a, they, I mean, they kind of bought it. Like, Audie got a pick, too, that game. Yeah. And they called it back. Right. But he really got a pick, though. They didn't hit the ground. And it was, and then the quarterback was like a backup, right? It wasn't the starting quarterback. The quarterback? Nah, yeah, our quarterback. quarterback, right? Well, Malik, Malik was playing. Right, right. I, I, I think, I think, yeah, so the game already was weird. Um, Already was weird in the end, in the, in the kickoff and the pitches and stuff, man. Y'all boy partied after that? I don't remember, man. We party after every damn game. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Even like college, kind of was different. Like even when I when I first got the UM, when I first got the UM, you know we lose like normally like especially in high school. Like we ain't, we ain't, we ain't never really lose. So it's like a loss really hurt us. Yeah, and we feel like we let the coach down, the team down, the city down. Right. Like you know what I'm saying? Like then we just let everybody down. But it's like college. Like when I we had when I when I lost for real the first time the first game we lost. Them niggas really had a party. They had a party. And I'm just like, damn, let's how this go. <laughs> they had a party. They had a party. It won't hurt. Yeah, no, they weren't hurt. The guy started quarterback was at that party. Um, I ain't go to the party though. You feel me? Because you know I was so used to. I'm goddamn my dorm sad, and I ain't even play. <laughs> For real. Did that ever wear off? Were you were you like that the whole time? Man, you that there? shit wore off, man. Yeah. Shit wore off. That's that. That's when football became kind of different for me. What you mean by different? Like, you know, I was so used to playing for my team and my coach, like. Playing really like I'm playing for myself, but I'm really playing for my team and my coach. This is the bigger picture. Like I'm really playing to win. Like right. I'm really playing to like to go to the furthest we could go. Like that's what's on my mind when I'm playing. Like I don't care about nothing else. It's all about yourself. It's all about you. Like shit, yeah, boy, you ain't getting money. Yeah. And then again, like you know, I had a hard time adjusting to that. Like I just had so much hard time, but I ain't gonna lie, I adjusted to it. Like when I got to leave, I was so adjusting. It ain't matter no more. I was having fun and making money, and yeah. that's all it is. Anything else come with that? I don't care about. It. I ain't, I already. I don't care about winning. I don't care if we win. Right. Like, that's how I was, and that, that's bad. But it's like I ain't really had no choice because everybody around me was like that. So like, you think I'm about to be man? Y'all boy tighten up and looking at me like man, what's wrong with him? Like boy, what? Does it have anything to do with the locker room? You think every locker room like that? In every room, like, every locker room like that. Like, you got some NFL team like it's the culture, what's going on around. Like you think they're not like that in New England? Right. People trying to win. The people trying to win, they probably Baltimore. Like, they really trying to win. But it was like that in Miami. It was like that just because we had so much going on, like the players and the coaches. Like I wasn't the only player like that. Like yeah. we had a lot of players. No, that no, it's, it's, not, it's not the first time I heard it. It ain't first time I heard it. And I ain't trying to act like, oh, it was super bad. Like I had good times with the coaches. You know what I'm saying? Where right. like everything going good. But as far as like from from that playbook, like that defensive scheme, oh. <laughs> so so make so make okay so make it make sense, Trey. So. When you say it was all about you, it was all about you and what you're trying to achieve for your family. That's what you yeah, realize. Like that would have came to it. Came to it. My family was telling me this. Like, boy, f- that team, boy, right. yo, y'all better, yeah, I better get off and make some plays so you go to the league. Right, right. So, so y'all lose and then they have a party. <laughs> it's not that they don't care about losing. It's more so like that's losing. a business. Like uh, we just we, we handle business and we lost, but it ain't our life. Right? That's what you're trying to say. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, I don't know what they mindset was behind it, but I know I fell in line. Yeah. Like by the time you know it's a goddamn party. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like all us were. <laughs> like, well, yo, your coach was half golden the whole time? The whole time. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, man. Golden, don't get me wrong. I never get on here and act like I want to bash him. No, I'm just keeping it 100. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Was Golden a good coach? And his own way he was. He just, I, don't, I just don't think it just wasn't a good situation. I saw him come talk to the prison one time. Um, he talked to the to the inmates at the prison, and when I met him, I was impressed with him, man. I thought he was a good dude. He's, he's, um, well, he's really I, smart. He don't give me he's smart. He probably come he come from a, a good family. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, like, I got I a mean, different vibe from D'Onofrio when I met him. Though he was recruiting Trevante Valentine. I didn't get the same vibe. Um, they feel kind of crazy. They best friends. And I feel the crazy one, Golden the more level headed one. Right. But even D'Onofrio, like D'Onofrio, smart. He's super smart. And I feel super smart. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Of course, he's a coach. He's smart, but you know, he's just stuck in his way, man. He just, he just believe what he believe in. Yes. Which is not, but Delafio taught me a lot. Like, like I don't like to put that in there. Like, Delafio taught me a lot. I, I, I what won't, he told you? He, when they come to nickel, he yeah. ain't teaching me nothing about corner. But when they come to playing nickel, like playing nickel, yeah. and I played nickel a lot in the league. That's how I really made a team playing nickel. Oh wow! And you like, know, yeah, he taught me a lot. He taught me how to read releases. He taught me how to read splits. And I feel like I done got pick sixes because of Nafio, like really like applying applying what he taught me. Right. Like you get what I'm saying? One thing I, that's one thing I could say. Like he, yeah, he, 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 he taught me some stuff, you get what I'm saying? But he told me some stuff that should have nothing to do with me. I ain't right. played nickel in college. Right. But I played it as a backup. Yeah. Like corn started at nickel. I uh-huh. started at corn. You know what I'm saying? So but, but I used to 
I could play everything. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, they used to, they used to make sure I know every position because I was the one that could, I knew the whole defense. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So I could play everything. So he taught me a lot though. Like he taught, the, I can say the Nuffield taught me some stuff. And the Golden taught me how to move lateral right corner, like how to stay lateral. But that's it. That's, what, that's it. Right. That's it. You, you was definitely not playing Clemson. When yeah, I was there when I played Clemson. I ain't, I ain't crazy about it. I ain't even played that game for real. You didn't get in? Not really. Why? Yeah, that's the people, man. <laughs> <laughs> but Algona got fired that night, didn't he? Or, or like the next week or something like that. That was the end of it. They got fired that same day, next day. Yeah? You was a sin then? I was a sin. Yeah, I had, we had like three more games left. It was over anyway. Yeah? <clears throat> did you you went to the combine? Mm -mm. You go to the combine? Nope. You just did work out of Pro Day. Pro Day? What you ran in Pro Day? You remember? Four four. Four 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 seven. Uh-huh. So you you got picked up by Cleveland, Cleveland, right? Mm -hmm. You remember how it happened when you was at when you found out they were gonna pick you up? Um, yeah, I was with my agent on uh -huh. draft day, but I had I I, I was I was about to go to Arizona, Atlanta, or Cleveland. Yeah, but I went to Cleveland because they said they were gonna let me play safety and corner. Right. Like, he was like, "Man, I see you was a safety." You know, I ain't never played no safety, but in my head, I'm like, Shit, I can't mess up at both. <laughs> He's like, I can make the team at one of them at least. Like, you about to give me both opportunities? Yeah. So I mean, I, and it kind of worked out for me. Then I played nickel as well, so I played everything. So I had a lot of value. And I played special team. I played retire, return, kicks. Oh, oh yeah. So you get to Cleveland, and what did you realize about the NFL? Did you realize that, was it harder? Was it easier? Like, I mean, it's just, for me, it was easier. Right. It was easier. It was more simple football, and they let me play. Like, dang, like when I was, I mean, they let me play. See, that's a misunderstanding. People don't. People think that, well, you're going to the NFL, you can't handle college, you can't handle the NFL. But the NFL is a different game, huh? Look, there ain't no school. It's approached oh. different. Ain't no school. <laughs> the school ain't going. No school. That's a big. Like, you know, like we spent more time in school than football, so it, like, it took up a lot. Then you got to worry about this and that. But when you can just focus on football. It's just football. Football, go home and do what you want to do. You know what, Tracy, man? That's anything in life, dog. If you, if you just... Have time to focus on it. You ain't got to go to work. Then focus on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you just have time to focus on it, yeah, you probably be successful. Like high school, I ain't, man. School, I ain't, man. Yeah. I used to be with Cardell. You used to be with Cardell? All day. Yeah? All day. I walk in class. See you on Friday. It's Monday. <laughs> I, I can't even make this up. <laughs> I see you at the game. I see you at the game. <laughs> For real. Yeah? For real. No exaggeration. I walk in class on Monday. You know, I show my favorite girl. All right, boy, see you on Friday. You know I ain't coming here. Anybody see me during the week? But it couldn't be like that in Miami. Miami yeah. was different. You had to go to, you had to, go to class. Yeah. That's why I kind of say, like, I kind of I kind of moving backwards. But nobody tell me. I'm thinking I'm about to go to college and do the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Tracy. Somebody, so had, somebody like, had to look at you one time and be like, hey, boy, listen. That's the only thing, that, 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 that's the only thing I could say. Like, it's so much of a family when you playing, you know, I play with Mommy God, play with Mary, so much of a family, like, and we was winning, so it's so much of a family atmosphere, you get what I'm right. saying? And it's everything, but you know, they ain't really, I feel like nobody ain't really lace me on the, like, they ain't really like, boy, when you get there, it ain't about to be like this, like, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> and then, like, then you gotta understand, like, I never really was around different type of people. Yes. Like that, like, Say on it. a regular basis, Say you get it, what I'm saying? I, 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 I speak on this stuff all the time. I'm I, mean, I never. By, by black people, I was right? around black people. I coached black people. I yeah. went to black people school with black people. Like so, when I got to UM, it was I was I was really a culture shock. That was really like stuck at first. Like mm -hmm. I didn't really like I was really uncomfortable around the people because I didn't really know how they were gonna accept the way I talk. You feel me? That goes. You get what I'm saying? Like, oh, we all had goals. The people looking at us crazy. You try to talk to a girl on Kevin, Why you got your pants down? Like shit. like you get what I'm saying? So it's like, and you know, I never been super wild. You get what I'm saying? I always been a chill. I always been cool, but. You know, I'm from where I'm from. That's just what it is. You get yeah. what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I always, like, felt like they weren't going to accept. You know, they talk super country, too. And I always, like, they, you know, they, they had a hard time accepting that. You get what I'm saying? Like, especially, like, the people. So, it was, like, it was a culture shock to me. Right. Like, I'm already going to class with these people. And these people was, as soon as they talk, they looking at us. They looking at us weird. They're just being around the school. You talking about? Like, why you got goals? Like, you know, these things in your mouth. Like, these the girls say this. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, they fell in line eventually, but. They fell in line? Yeah. Like, you're going to have to accept it. Like, I ain't changing. Yeah. I'm already ain't shot out. You know what I'm saying? Everything cool. I mean, I, I could see and ask you, why the hell you got your pants on your belly? Right. You can't. You can't. Because what's normal to them don't mean that. that exactly. Yeah. You, you know, you, know you can't. See, but dog, what yeah. you just touched on, man, uh, uh, we don't talk about enough. That's your first time you being coached by white people. That's my first time being coached. Right? It was so different. Like, right. man, 
and then like you know I was coached on I respect my coaches like when I was coming up so it's like they damn nigga say anything to me yeah they could damn they slap me and I ain't finna say nothing I was just finna eat it and be like right. I mean, you know, as old, it's I different when it's coming from somebody. With different, race. I don't know y'all. And right. Then again, I don't know y'all, and then I ain't racist enough. But then again, y'all white. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you ain't gonna be talking to me crazy. Yeah, you know what I'm nah, saying? Nah, like, my nah, coaches, nah. Carter ain't even talking to me crazy because he ain't have to. And Carter was six four too. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Carter done talked to me crazy a few times when right. I got out of line. Probably like, I say two times. That my two times ever at Miramar, Carter talked to me crazy one time in the weight room when he was talking, and Carter he took it wrong. You get what I'm saying? Like I wasn't even like he said something, and I was like I was trying to. Understand what he was saying, but he thought I was trying to be funny. Yeah, and you I really was trying to be funny. Got like, on you. Yeah, nigga, he caught that went crazy. On me, but she know what I did. Shit. I shut my ass up because I respected him. I really had. Right. I just looked at him like a father figure. Like if my daddy was out the picture, like Carl, that'd be like my father figure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he a good dude. Yeah. Hey, work. Right. I could have did better. I could have did better with my attitude a lot of time in college. I could have did better with my attitude. I can say that. Like all that them chicks, y'all. You trying to is the coach? The coach right? Shut up. But That's I'm not in the league. Like, my coach get on me in the league. Like, I was really hip. Right. You kind of see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, that, like, high school ain't prepared me for college. It's, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's kind of like a game you got to play. Yeah, kind of, yeah. like, but college prepared me for the pros. Like, when I got the pros, I was, I was. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like I a game, already, yeah. I knew exactly what was going on. I knew, I knew how these people were. Right. I know exactly what's about to happen. I know, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, when I got to the league, I swear, I was a psyche. I knew who was about to get cut. <laughs> I knew what was about to happen. It was just, you just, you just know. It's kind of like. It's like if you go to prison, right? And you gotta go to prison again. You already know what's about to happen. Like, you right. know how you know how I go already. You get what I'm saying? It's kind of like one of them situations. How, how many years you was in the league? One, you did one, two. How nah, I did two and a half. You did two and a half. Mm-hmm. And what happened? What ended it? My pelvis. You got hurt. Yeah, I felt I had pelvis surgery like three times. Yeah, it's pelvis surgery three times in mm-hmm. the NFL. Mm-hmm. And then at one point in time, you just couldn't do it no more. I mean, at that point, Man, you I ain't gonna said, fly. I could have really like. I could have really kept getting surgery and tried to go to and cover it back, but man, look, no, my love went for that shit. I was over it. Like you know what I'm saying? I like, could I could I could I could have went and tried to kept playing. Kept I chasing it. It would have been harder for me to like get back, but I could have did it. You know what I'm saying? I probably could have like I like I had like um like Arizona called me, but my pelvis was still messed up. But I could have went out there, but I'm like nah, my my pelvis. Now my agent called me. Arizona keep calling. And then like Canada was calling me heavy. And I was healthy then, but I'm like, you know, I ain't going to Because play. you had a good game, man, one of them games. It was a preseason game or something, right? You had an interception of... Yeah, I balled in Jacksonville. Yeah. I led the team I led the team in turnovers the whole preseason. So the whole preseason you led the team in tackles? In turnovers. You thought that? I you... had four turnovers. I had three-fourths fumbles in the book. You thought that smack Tracy? <laughs> yeah. But see, that's when I really, like, got comfortable at safety. I never played safety. Uh-huh. But I'm really a natural safety, though. Right. Like, when I, once I really learned safety in the league... You felt natural back there. It was it was like yeah it was, it was more like it was it was scratch free, but corner scratch free what? Yo, I got stick on them all the time. Man. Look, I got time to chase you niggas all game, man. <laughs> like for real, like and, and you feel me? I want you know, and I was a gangster out there, but it's like right, one thing about corner, bro, it's inevitable. You gonna get beat. Like that's how I go. Right. Safety, that's flawless. You and you, you're a cerebral player. You was able to see the whole game. You can see the whole game. Yeah, from, like, yeah you, you see saying? everything from back there. Not right, right, be right. everywhere. I could be in a post, really reading in a post. But once I got like, and don't get me wrong, like when I first moved to safety, I was kind of, I was kind of raw. Right. I mean, I'm a natural athlete, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do good. But it's like you could tell that I wasn't ready. Right. But like once I, once I got around Gip in Jacksonville, once I got around to Sean, and he was really teaching me. Yeah. I could really say, I could really say the game got easy, easy. Yeah. Like I, when I went out there, I knew what was about to happen. Right. That's why that preseason I was so good. Yeah, I remember you was balling the preseason. I was so good because like I really got, I got the hang of it, like. Safety, I'll be trying to tell Dion, like, boys, safety and corner are two totally different positions. Then I'm sticking tight ends. <laughs> like, you used to, I'm used to covering Stacy and Malk and right. Edelman and Odell. I'm really sticking these people all the time. Like, one, well, nah, huh? you, <laughs> now I got to stick a tight end? Yeah. <laughs> like, bro, they're too easy. Right. They had, they had you at free or you had that strong? They had nah, you at free. Had, I was at free. You at free? Yeah, I ain't no strong. I'm no. little as hell. Uh. But the crazy part about it, when I was in Jacksonville, I played both. And I was in a box getting busy. And that's when you was balling, right? Yeah, I was in a box going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it's, it's more like, it ain't about the size. It's about reading your keys and being fast. Right. I read my, like, I'm reading the guard, the guard pull. I'm going so fast. Like, I don't lie, I'm too fast for you. Right. But that's what it's supposed to be. That's yeah, I'm too fast for you. Like, by the time I react, I'm gone. Like, by the you try to pull it, come get me, I'm out of there. Right. I never eat. I probably played 100 snaps in the box. I never took on a lineman. And I never ran from a lineman. Yeah. Like, I never had to take them on. You was, you, was, you was seeing it that fast. You were diagnosing it that fast. I don't know the fact of Gibbs. Right. That's the Sean Gibson, he elite. Like, 
P League, but you know one thing about them old heads in the league, a lot of them ain't gonna teach you unless you ask. Yeah. Like they ain't gonna teach, they gonna let you. But they ain't gonna like you know. He's a coach. He well, wasn't a coach, but like she, like I, Tashawn Gibson was a safety. He was a safety. Yeah, he got paid. He got fifty million. And he helped. And he helped. You. Yeah, he helped. He helped. He with one thing: read the guard. <laughs> I would never really go. I could look at a quarterback the whole time, blind. Like imagine that. Imagine that you playing the game for this long and you really don't even know that you, what you're looking at is wrong. See? But you just really playing because you know what I'm saying. So he reacting way faster than me. So by the time he see run, at least half a second before me. You know how fast half a second is? No, it's, it's forever now. You get what I'm saying? So he told you to read the guard, and that read changed guard, everything. That changed everything. That's when I became good. You never looked at the quarterback ever again. Never you didn't have to. Oh, you got to look at the quarterback once I once I like I read the guard and know what's going on. The guard gonna tell you run past. Yeah. Then once I get a pass, I read the quarterback's shoulder. I don't look. I don't never look at the quarterback's face. I read his shoulders. Read his shoulder. Quarterback yeah. here. That shoulder closed. He going over here. That shoulder open. He going over there. It's impossible. Right. Like, like it's almost like I never knew this though. You know what I'm saying? No, no, I get it. I, I get it. I, I get it. Um, but there's a lot of players who play their whole entire career and don't and, and they come still, in touch and, with the gifts and they, and they, and they still, help them like that. Yeah, and they still do good. That's the crazy part. Yeah. 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 So, so, so Cleveland was the only place you was at? You went somewhere else? No, nah, I was Jacksonville. The Cleveland, Dolphins. Oh, yeah. That's you, why I finished you, at the Dolphins. You ended at the Dolphins. Mm-hmm. That's where I was. That's where I was. Had my pelvis issue at. Where you was at when you, you decided that, man, I ain't, I'm just going to chill, man. Where you, you remember? Like, what? Like, what? Like, yeah, exactly yeah, where you was at exactly when you made a decision, like, man, I ain't going to do it no more, man. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead, start my new life, get it going. Man, shit. You don't remember? It, went, it ain't go like that. No? No, it ain't never go like that. It, it, you know, it kind of went like I was, a, I messed my pelvis up, and I was on uh, workers' comp. Yeah. So I was just getting paid just cool. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, they're going to have to pay me until I'm healthy. Right. Who you think about? I was about to rush back getting healthy? Hell no, I wasn't about to rush back getting healthy. <clears throat> I ain't get drafted. You get what I'm saying? And the Dolphins picked me up, but like, I ain't, ain't like I'm a super wanted player. Like, they ain't pay me. Right. So I already know it definitely ain't no going back to the Dolphins. Yeah. But I ain't really care because I was always smart. I already did what I did. I had my little whoop de whoop. I'm gonna go do this. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it was, yeah. It was cool. Then once I, then once I really started doing music, I definitely wasn't never trying to go back. Right. Why? Because music feel like what to you? Explain that to people. Music. Music feel like. It feel like Optimus. People, people, <laughs> see, <laughs> see, see, this is how I know what you're talking about. The one time in life where I remember I felt free. Is when I got out of the military and me and my homeboy started a record label. Mm-hmm. And we built the studio, we were making music. Mm-hmm. And I felt free. I was creating and I felt like, mm-hmm. damn boy, this is what life about. We ain't had no money, we ain't had nothing, you know what I'm saying? But we was working to get there. Yeah. And I said, I'm gonna put this in the bottle. I'll never forget how this felt. You know what I'm saying? How it felt to be free, creating, building something. You know, and so that's how I kind of understand what, what, you, what you're saying. It feel like Optimus. Yeah, free. I ain't got no bills. I can just right. really come out here and go to school with my homies. Right. And then go play football. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know you get older. It's different. You know what I'm saying? Which I, don't get me wrong. Like, I mean, I, I have fun every day. You get what I'm saying? But it's like, I'm free. Right. Like, the blink of an eye, they, my money stop. They can stop my money whenever they want. Right. right. They can't stop my money right now. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So, so were, you, were you in the studio, you feel like, it, when you studio, beat on... You know what I'm saying? Or even when you lay the track and you listen to it the next day, right? You know, you go listen to it the next day. It sound different. You hear for real. Yeah. <laughs> for some reason, yeah. you hear for real the next. You hear for real the next day. Um, you feel you comfortable. You feel comfortable in that in that in that set. Yeah, I love music. Yeah. But you know, like this is the thing though. Like I always did music. Y'all just don't know. But like, only the people that's around me, like that play it. Like even in Cleveland the locker room, like nigga, I'm the one to bring the new music to the locker room. I know about artists because of me. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, so what, people, what people find your music at? Tell them, man. On Instagram, YouTube, yeah, Tracy Supreme, yeah, YouTube, Instagram. What song? Which one of your son got the most hits? Motivation. Motivation. Yeah, it's like it's almost it's like two hundred and fifty k. Yeah. On YouTube. On YouTube. Better me, so for real. What's yeah. uh, what's your Instagram? Tracy Supreme, right? Tracy Howard Jr. You on Twitter? Nope. Nah. What else you on? TikTok? You you on dancing on TikTok, nah. man? You ain't making no dances now on TikTok, bro? Nah. No. <laughs> I'ma get on TikTok though. I'm gonna do like um I'm gonna do like freestyle Friday. I'm gonna drop a little freestyle. No, TikTok is is, is is grows really fast. It's slowing down now, but you can go fast on TikTok. Yeah, no, nah, I'm gonna get on that, I'm gonna get on that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get on that like on, on Friday, I'm gonna put something on there. Yeah. I mean I done did I done did TikTok before. Right. But like I'm not no like I don't be on TikTok. Yeah. Like my page ain't active, like I do stuff with like with my little niece. 
Mm-hmm. She want to do stuff. I see her doing stuff. Let's do one. Yeah. Something like that, but I ain't yeah. really on it like that. Anybody you want to feature with, man? Like anybody in the Brown Florida or anywhere hot that you want to feature with? Like feature wise? Yeah. I mean, yeah, you know, I like, I like to work with anybody that's got dope music. Like, I just love creating. I love creating like good music. Yeah. So, like, it's an artist that's hard. I create with them because I know we're going to jail together. Like, I know how to, like, work off people. Would you work with anybody? No. When Kendrick Lamar was trying to get Oh, you mean anybody, it. like, anybody in the yeah. industry? Yeah, no matter what they rap about. Maybe they, they oh, may yeah, not be yeah. on the same vibe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, you know, that was creating about. When yeah. you say anybody, I'm thinking, you work at anybody at the crib? Like, yeah. nah, because you know there's a lot of going on at the crib. <laughs> right, right. But right. as far as, like, music-wise, yeah, I already work with anybody. Like, I work with anybody. Yeah. I remember when Kendrick Lamar was trying to get on, and I used to always laugh and tell my homeboy, man, he ain't gonna make it. Like, he was too backpacky. Like, he was a backpack rapper. Like, he. And then he, he was able to cross over for a second and, and, and make that hit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and he blew up with the game and all of that. And <clears throat> then he just go back, revert back to what he really was, and I now mean, people accept it. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's why I was saying, would you work with anybody? Like, would you partner up with anybody, or you just try to find people when you're saying. I mean, I'll work with anybody just for the simple fact that, like, I mean, he blew because he had a team behind him. Yeah. And then again, like, he had a team behind him, but, like, he kind of weird. But his people was behind him. Like, he stayed from it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, the people going to respect him. You make beats? So, I ain't going to fly. I don't make beats, but I just made a beat the other day, and I did a song. On what? What you use to make the beat? I, I used to go on the beat pad machine. With the MPC? I don't know what it is. I know my dog's going to make a beat. I'm like. What color it was? It's, it's R- black. R- black? Oh, you got a black one? It's black. You know, it got a piano on it. Got the little things. Yeah. So you bang the beat up? It's I finished? Mean, or you it's finished. It's I, missing did song, so- I did a song on it now. Oh, really? I'm going to drop an X. <laughs> What's the song called? It's called Soldier. Yeah. But it's Soldier. It's spelled like S-O-U-L. Like Soul. I'm going to put jerk. It ain't like S-O-L. Nah, it's not hard. Like, one thing about hip-hop beat, it's not hard to make a hip-hop beat. It's, it's, it, people want to listen, man. Swiss beats it. People want to, it's not hard to make I mean, You just though. did it, though. It's not hard to do, though. Because I did a beat that's catered to myself. Yeah. Like, there's certain beats I won't, I won't really get on. Even though they hard beat. Yeah. But they in my style. You know what I'm saying? Like, no. I, only way I, like, if I'm doing a feature or something, I, yeah. I, I switch it up. But, like, as far as, like, me personally, I stick to my sound. I mean, it, 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 I'm gonna get, it gonna be, every song gonna be different, but it's like, I stick to my sound. Like, I ain't finna be going out the box. But only you know what music is in you. Sometimes it is better to make your own beats because you only you know what music is in you. Now you can hear a beat and then inspire you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For sure. um, if it's good enough. But yeah, only you know really, really what you what you want to hear. Yeah. yeah. Sure. All right, man. Thanks for thanks for coming out here, big for dog. Sure. You know what for I'm saying, sure. man? You Miami legend, big dog. Appreciate it, man. Y'all make sure y'all like, share, and members, man. Y'all gotta go to the community section and look at your stuff, man. We out. Don't take three motherfucking days, and that's what? Big time players step up and big.